I'm David Baker, real estate agent here in Levine, South Phoenix area. I'm currently with HomeSmart, been doing business in the area for almost 10 years. I know a lot of buyers have asked me, how do they get started with the home search? What's the process like? So I wanted to cover two things today, all right, to get you started on uh, buying a home. Number one, find yourself somebody to work with, a real estate agent. Okay, I think it's a good idea to work with somebody that really knows the area. So if you are looking, say for example, in my area of specialty down here in the Levine South Phoenix area, work with somebody that's a specialist down here. It makes no sense really to have a real estate agent that works out in Apache Junction showing you stuff here because they, not, they may not know the area at all. Um, so they won't be able to answer questions for you and they may not know what the values are for certain homes in the area. So I think important, you know, you could end up doing a Google search you know, search for Levine Realtor, Levine Realtors, you know, and see what comes up, make some calls. I think it's also a very important thing. Call up the agent. If they don't answer the phone the first time, you know, give them a pass. Chances are maybe they're out with the client. But if they don't call you back within a short period of time, you may want to call another one uh, because communication is key when you're buying a home and you want to make sure that your real estate agent is going to be in contact with you. Right now, number two thing, very important. Once you've picked out a real estate agent is going to be financing. Now, if you're paying cash and you have have cash that you could use to pay for a home, fantastic. Most people don't. They're going to end up using financing. So the second thing is getting pre-qualified. Now, once you have your real estate agent, I would suggest see if your real estate agent uh, can refer you to a lender that they've done business with. Now, most real estate agents do multiple deals in a year and they often work with lenders that they'll work with again and again. And chances are it's because they do a good job. Being in the business 10 years, I go back to the same people over and over again, and it's because they've done such a good job for my clients. So I refer a lot of people to these specific you know, uh, lenders. Um, there's some good reasons to get pre-qualified. One, because you know, if you do find a house that you, that you like, you need to be pre-qualified to have your offer be considered. So really, it needs to happen. You know, you need to put that horse before the carriage. You want to make sure that you've got the financing in place. But also, it tells you how much you're qualified for. It also tells you how much your payments would be for the amount of your loan. So you may qualify for, say, a million dollars, but it may be over the budget that you've set for yourself on a month monthly basis for whatever goals you have, for, you know, for your life. So you want to make sure that you stay within your budget and getting that pre-qualification is also going to help out for that. Now, once you've got the pre-qualification, you know what your payments are going to be. You've got your realtor. Now you can set up a search criteria and the, and the real estate agent can help you out with that. And next comes the fun part. Go look at homes, see what's out there, see what you like and then start putting in offers and properties. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My website is right below.